Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nathanius here with another Terran tutorial. This is gonna be a little bit more on the basic side. Those of you have wrote to me, a lot of people asking, Nathanius, what are the best hotkeys for Terran? How do I maximize hotkey usage for faster APM? And also to make this game a little bit less frustrating. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will be going over, for those of you who have played Brood War or have played with the default layout for StarCraft II since it released, the standard hotkey layout, basically. Um, I'm going to be basing it off of this. This is the hotkey setup that I use when I play StarCraft II, and this is something that allows you, over time, to be a bit more efficient. Um, general things to say before we actually get into this. Um, the biggest difference between this and the normal standard layout that I'm about to modify is no keys that are important are going to be on the right side of the keyboard at all. You will not need to move your hand off of the left side of the keyboard, which will allow you to press keys faster since you obviously won't have to move your hand. Now, that being said, just to go over some of the basics for unit production, I think it's very important. Um, you're gonna notice some buildings are already set up pretty well. The barracks, you already have all on the left side of the keyboard, many useful things. So there's really nothing here that's an issue, but we wanna, we wanna take this and learn from this a little bit. So the unit that we're gonna build the most from the barracks is set to A. It's very easy to press this key. Reapers, Marauders, Ghosts are also pretty easy to find on home row as well. Uh, so looking forward, the factory is the first place where I make changes in terms of hotkeys. We wanna try to get rid of uh, anything that's not gonna be on the left side of the keyboard. Now, for my own personal sake, I like making the units that I build the most out of each building set to A. For the most part, that's gonna be Hellions. I build a lot of Hellions if I'm playing mech, so usually I'll set this one to A. You can leave it at E as well, uh, but for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna show you what my hotkeys are as well as a Grandmaster Terran player that's been top 100 um, NA uh, quite a few times, uh, so you can learn from me. The biggest thing to note is gonna be the Cyclone. Uh, for my personal usage, I don't like it being on the end key. You have to move your hand a little bit too far to get that, so I like it on the Z key. I think it's pretty easy to hit that. You don't build a crazy amount of Cyclones, but Z is not a difficult key to hit. So this is the first unit that I would change over as well. And looking at the Starport next, I like to do the same thing with Banshees. As, uh, you, know, as you can tell, I used to be pretty aggressive, pretty cheesy. So I would set something like the Banshee because it's my most built unit out of a Starport, usually to A. And the Liberator, which is set to N, just like the Cyclone was, I also like to set this to Z. We're just trying to move everything off of the right side of the keyboard. We don't want to have to move our hands at all to be able to build units. And like I said, this is kind of the beginning phase. This is the slow area where we're just kind of getting into this. And uh, I do have small hands. Yeah, so I, I mean, N is a little bit too far to the right for me. So uh, with that being said, I like to go towards things like unit abilities, um, anything else that we can set up. So for me personally, I think that using uh, rapid fire, which is a hotkey trick you can kind of do, is a very useful tool. Um, if you're curious what rapid fire is, it's basically binding the same action that your left click does to the same key that you would use to cast an ability. So for example, um, the ghost, we would set, we see that steady targeting is set to R. And what we would want to do is we can also go into the global tab of hotkeys down to unit management. And there is a, excuse me, choose ability or AI target. Now, normally, as you can see, of course, this is your left mouse button because you left click when you use spells, which is totally fine. Totally cool. Um, personally, what I do is I add an alternate. I set it to R and this will allow me to spam out attacks very quickly. And just to give a brief demonstration, and then we'll get back to this. Uh, so we'll say, yeah, create new profile. Let's say tutorial. So now we have that saved. But to just show you a brief example of what rapid fire allows you to do, um, I do want to actually make sure that I have music turned off. This can get a bit loud. So like I said, we have the rapid fire. So we set the cast to the R key. And that basically allows you to, instead of going for, oh, steady targeting, left click, left click, left click, which is what you would normally do against something like an Ultralisk, you can instead just hold down the R key and drag it over enemy units. And it'll go really fast. It's a very fast, easy way to do a lot of snipes. Of course, the Ultralisk cancels the ghost snipe, but you kind of get the idea. You know, with something like this, 
it gives you access to really do a lot of damage. And kind of getting back to the point that I was making earlier, if you want to use um, this, it's a very effective way. Of course, Ghost Snipe does have overkill, so it can be tricky. But the whole point is that you can cast a lot of them at once. And uh, like I said, you know, you set A, so I can press A, I can build all the units that I want to build as fast as possible. But also things like liberators. You don't want to have to move your hand off of the left side of your keyboard to build the units that you want. And similarly with the cyclone. So I think the biggest goals, the biggest focuses are to keep your hotkeys on the left side of the keyboard so that you don't have to worry about moving your hand and you know once you make those mistakes and you start to misclick or you press the wrong key because you move your hand back to the left side you know for me it's about convenience and there's a couple of other tiny uh, hotkeys as well to change for example when you're turning a command center into a planetary fortress the p key we do not want to press p p is all the way on the right side of the keyboard i don't like pressing p so personally what i use is v this is just a very simple way to, uh, you know, you, you you plant down your fourth command center, you just press V really quickly, you don't have to look for the P key all the way on the right side, and, you know, then possibly move your left hand back over to the left side, and then miss your next key press, because you're too busy looking at your keyboard trying to see which key you want to press. So, this kind of takes things a little bit closer to grid, but we still get that feel of using standard for a lot of other things. Um, and the next thing, of course, that I, I definitely think is a really big deal for Terran especially, is patrol. Um... Patrol is a great way to set yourself up uh, against uh, Zerg while you're pushing on creep before engagements. And I'll do another tutorial video on what exactly patrol splitting lets you do because I feel it is important enough that it warrants his own video. But I like to set patrol to W. I think setting patrol to W is really good because it allows you to very easily um, use patrol. The P key is hard to press, but I do believe that patrol is a very useful uh, ability that every unit has and I think it's one of the most important ones that you are going to be able uh, to use so the only other thing I have to say is because of rapid fire uh, it's easiest to set it up so that you have one key as your alternate for choosing the target of an ability so I like to change the cyclones lock on to R as well that way I can spam the lock on if I ever turn on auto cast off um, it's important to make sure it's on for seeker missile a lot of units have R already and one other thing that I think is really important is I like, I like being able to press the medevac boost pretty quickly. And B is fine for building orbitals, but I like to be able to press this really fast since I'm usually A-clicking an army around when I have medevacs. So my own personal experience, I like to set Ignite Afterburners to Q because this allows me to... It's just much most easy key for me to hit because usually my hands are going to be on 1 through 5 uh, for setting up production as well as moving my army around, making attacks and whatnot. Um, and similarly, I also like to set the nuclear strike to Q as well because, you know, it, I don't want it all the way on the right side of the keyboard. And uh, there's a couple of other places that you can change this as well. For building nukes, you can also set this to Q. Um, obviously, this messes with select builders, so you either want to change that key. I don't build a lot of nukes, so personally, this one doesn't really matter to me. Um, and now we've broken the uh, select builder. Not a big deal, anyway. Uh, there is a, another one as well that I think is quite important. It's building your bunker. The U key is obviously pretty far on the right side of your keyboard. Personally, I like setting build bunker to F. Uh, the reason why I like to use F for build bunker is you can obviously don't have to move your hand as fast, but also sometimes you need to build bunkers really fast. You need to build a couple of them, right? So you got to press BF, BF, BF. Um, using shift can mess up the AI and movement of your SCVs, especially if you've selected more SCVs than you actually need to use at any one point in time. So I like to set my bunker to F. Um, a couple of these also get pretty tricky depending on whether you press other keys as well, because uh, the other the other one that I would like to mention, I don't like using L for liftoff. Uh, this is a pretty easy one to mess up. This is one that I've spoken to a lot of other people about. They, they tell me, you know, you can run into some serious issues where you lift off your buildings when you don't intend to, and it does happen to me sometimes, so be careful with this one. If you don't lift off a lot, or if you're scared, you can leave it at L, you can move it to some other key that's not close to other keys you press, but I like to set lift off and land to F as well. This allows me to very, very quickly move buildings around, swap add-ons, take expansions, as well as just reposition anything that I need to. Pressing L and L again and again, over and over, 
constantly moves your hand to the right side of the keyboard, which makes you more prone to misclicking when you go back, excuse me, mispressing when you move your hand back to the left side of the keyboard. Um, there are a couple of other minor ones that aren't as big of a deal. I like to set the mule as well to R so that it lines up with my rapid fire key. And in case you're curious, what exactly it allows you to do? Basically, you just drop all your mules instantly. So imagine you land your base, you hold down R over a mineral patch, all your mules drop in three seconds, and then you can go do something else. You don't have to press E click, E click, E click, E click. It just, it saves you a hassle. So these are the most important hotkeys, I would say, in StarCraft II. And as far as any of the other units really go, I don't have any particular issues i really like using r and rapid fire because it lines up with a lot of current abilities but also for this if you just hold down r over a bunker you don't have to worry about setting your scvs to auto repair if you just need to defend a bunker you hold down r with your scv selected over that bunker and you will keep repairing it and that's one of the coolest parts i think about using rapid fire is it actually gives you these other tools but i'm going to probably do a, a whole entire other video on the benefits of using rapid fire there's quite a few quite a bit of content out there but for a hot key tutorial this is just setting yourself up for stuff that you need. Um, and personally, I think that's the most important part. So uh, the last tip that I'm gonna give you, if you wanna get good and not mismanage your units, is gonna be to unbind select army units. I do not use this hotkey. This hotkey is going to cause you to pull a medevac that you have waiting to drop all the way out over your opponent's base where he will kill it for free because you wanted to grab your whole army to attack the front and you forgot that you had a medevac outside their base or you forgot you had a banshee hiding outside their base or you forgot you had a viking killing overlords that now flies over their queens and then they kill it so select all army units this is a pretty noob friendly key but if you want to get good at starcraft you really shouldn't waste your time with this this is honestly just designed to be like okay i'm ready to go all in i want to make sure i have every unit and at that point i actually prefer to click f2 i actually prefer to click the button, the physical button on the screen, if I want to be able to do that. Um, the only other different hotkey that I use is I have my idle worker bound to a mouse button, which may not work with all of you. I have it on my forward mouse button so that I can just quickly press it on my mouse and have an SCV if I ever need to grab one. Um, and I also use the um, also use the move camera between bases to tilde which is uh, the one just to the left of one, basically. So that's just kind of how I like to do it. And I believe that is under camera. It's normally the backspace key, base camera. And I like to use this because it just allows you to look around your bases really quickly. So um, I believe that is just about everything. As you can see, uh, I would also bind the Yamato cannon to R as well, because if you're gonna use Yamato, you're probably gonna wanna use a lot of them at once. Keep in mind, some abilities do have overkill. And you can also set the KDA charge. Actually, this is a, this is pretty important. I'm glad I remembered to mention this one. Using the KDA charge with R will allow you to spam it out really, really quickly. So just to give a brief showing of what exactly some of these do. Um, don't unbind your select building worker hockey, by the way. That, that might not be good. So you can see just a couple of the things that you can do with this. So we have the cyclone bound to R. We disable the lock on, move these mutas away. We don't really need to deal with those. But imagine that you want to just quickly lock on to all of these ultras. Because lock on does not overkill. You can just do something like this instead. You just drag your mouse over and you'll see all your cyclones lock on. And, you know, you'll probably never actually end up building cyclones versus ultras. But if your opponent decides to let you win for free, why not? I think that's pretty much it. There's a couple of other tricks I wanted to go over. But I think they probably deserve their own videos. So... Yeah, I'm kind of happy with this so far. If you guys have any other questions about hotkeys or anything of that like, uh, feel free to ask away. Uh, some people do ask about camera hotkeys. Some people in the chat brought it up uh, before I made this video. So I will say that I do not use camera hotkeys. I use the middle drag scroll. Uh, basically, I just push in my scroll wheel on my mouse to look around. Uh, if any of you guys are interested in trying that, I personally love it because when, as a caster, I need to use it for observing. But uh, also, as a player, it allows me to quickly move around the map without having to press those um those dastardly hotkeys so you can mess with this by going to mouse and keyboard i have my drag scroll speed set to 80 percent as you can see i don't really use the edge of the screen scroll or the keyboard scroll but i do like these quite a bit so these are going to be important um things in, in, in case you're interested a lot of you guys like camera hotkeys and that's totally fine you can do that but uh, not particularly my area of expertise so 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That should be pretty much everything. In case you guys had any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Or you can shoot me uh, a tweet, at NathaniusTV on Twitter. So you can see some things are better when automated and definitely makes life quite a bit easier. So have, uh, have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time.